Hey everybody, and welcome back to The Witness. We have made it almost full circle around the island to the town area, as I'm calling it. And in here, we're going to put everything we've learned to the test. So, let's see what we can do. Um, can we do anything out here, first of all? There, I see some panels, but... Oh, here we go. Aha, so how are we supposed to solve this? That's definitely not correct. Is there a clue that we can use to... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think... Hang on. There's actually a collection of puzzles in the symmetry area that we've completely forgot about, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm actually going to do those first, because those are actually kind of a prerequisite to what we're about to do over there. So let me head that way. It's kind of a shame there's no instant uh, transportation system around here, but that's all right. So let's see here. Where is that? It's somewhere around here. I don't think it's those, because we did those. Yeah, we, we've already done all those puzzles. Wait a minute. Over here. Ah, here we are. Yeah, we definitely missed some stuff. All right, so let's do this first. Or not that first. Uh, where's the starting point on this thing? Here we go. Alright, so what you're supposed to figure out is that you're supposed to look at the towers here and basically hug them so that, that everything is contained within the area that you're drawing out. Which is definitely something, uh, it took me a little while to figure that out. But once I did, it wasn't so bad. Alright, so this one is 4-1... Two. Wait a minute. It's three, one, two, three, not four. There you go. So you kind of have to compensate a little bit because there's some environmental obstacles that you have to face here. It's like this one is clearly referencing that over there, but uh, we can't exactly look through that, so it's more like two, one, three, two, I believe. Oh, maybe not. Uh, uh, help? <laughs> maybe this is supposed to be something else. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, those two corresponded with the previous two. I'm pretty sure those are the exact ones. So this... Maybe we're supposed to do it the other way. Let's try that. Nope. Okay, what are we missing? Oh, there we go. I thought that's what we did originally. We did this, right? Oh, wait. There. I, for some reason, I think I went d all the way down here originally. That was my bad. Alright, so what is this one? This looks kind of a little strange. So I think we're supposed to line all four of those things up. Somehow. So let's try to assign a value to each of these. So like this one is definitely low. This one's definitely that height, and so is this. I think this one's that. No? Like, we're not supposed to contain these in these exact squares. We're supposed to position these as if they were in these exact squares. So... Let's try just doing all this way. No? Huh, okay. <laughs> this one is definitely confusing. Also, are those... Yeah, those are the ones we just looked at. The question is, is that the actual order we're supposed to do it? That's what I'm curious about. No, that's not right either. I like that the sound that this panel makes. It sounds pretty cool. 
No, that's not right. Okay, what is it that we're not seeing? I think that's what we have to answer here. Can we see this from a different point of view? I don't think the answer is yes. I think we have to work with what we have. Man, I wish I did this in the earlier video for this area. I completely forgot about it now. Okay, the game wants us to look at this from this point of view. So maybe we're just supposed to do this. Keep them all out? Nope. All the stuff. No. See, that encompasses three. That encompasses three. This encompasses only two. No. No. That doesn't work. Maybe it's mirrored. Is it mirrored? Okay, hang on. Are we supposed to look at something else through this? That seems like the sort of trick the game would pull on you, but it seems to be very intentionally this. So what are we not seeing? I completely forgot the solution to this. Wait a second. Maybe we're supposed to take like the longest one. There we go! We still have to make sure they all fit in the thing, so the rule st is still the same. I just had the application of it cr incorrect. Alright, so this, is it the palm trees that we're supposed to be looking at here? Because those seem to be very interestingly placed. Yes! Alright. Alright, is that it? Was that the last one? I think that was the last one. Okay, so that was what we had to do before going to the town, because I totally forgot about it. And the, pu the first puzzle there, uh, incidentally, involves this exact concept. And it also involves palm trees, which is pretty neat. So if I can just figure out the way back home... Uh... Wait, this is a path. It's weird what looks like a path and what doesn't, sometimes. Okay, so let's head back to the town. Sorry for the little detour there, but hopefully we can get right back on track. Um, I ha do happen to know that not every puzzle in here is totally necessary for completing the area. So there may be a couple that I save for much later when we have some time and we're bored of the post-game content uh, and we want something else. So let's go back to where we were and we'll start all over again. Let's see, where was it? Down here, right? Okay. So we were over here, and yes, we were looking at, at those. So it's looking like, let's see, this is kind of lopsided, isn't it? I think that's what we we're supposed to be looking at, right? So let's, let's assume that, and we'll go here, 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 here. Yes! Alright, so where does that lead us? It leads us up here? Oh no, right here. Oh, this is one of those shadow things. Ah. Okay. So we only have half the puzzle. So somehow... Oh, I see. I get it. We're supposed to look up here for the other half. Okay. So I'm going to assume that this is the start point here. And that we're supposed to go around here and then let's let's give it a shot and just see what happens wait is that even right I already forgot the route oh wait it's two up and the, okay that makes more sense okay and then that yes all right hooray for our side oh wait that was the wire that's pretty clever. And then we've got a sort of a Cartesian coordinates thing. Wait a minute, that color looks familiar. Could it be? Is there a tree with a fruit in it or something? Ah, here we go. So it looks like, I'm assuming that each of these 
branches here correlates to one of the sides of the tree. So we got one with seven, one with another seven, but it's four and three, one with eight, and then one with three, one, and two. So we got to figure out which one is which. So that one is, f this one appears to be the eight one, this over here. So if that's the case, does that make this one the three and the four one? Because this is also kind of looking like a, an eight one as well, if I'm reading this correctly. Unless one of these is just broken and I'm missing that. Did I miscount? That's seven, that's eight, that's seven, that's six. Which one is the one with six? Curious. Oh, these all appear to have eight in them. But that can't be right. Okay, what in the world am I not seeing here? Because this branch has two sub-branches, and each of those has two sub-branches. And wait, this is broken. Ah. So one where the farthest one is broken. So this is probably the one with seven in it, actually. This one going down here. Whereas the one with the fruit... Is this the one with eight? It's the third from the end. And is this the one with three? Yeah, this is three and four because that's broken. Okay. And that's broken and that's broken, so that's the sixth one. So it would appear that the fruit is on the right side and it's the third from the end, if I'm reading correctly. So let's give that a shot. Oh, no! Oh, come on. That's not cool. You have to do this all over again. Okay. Let's give it another shot. Okay, what did we not see here? So this is the one that has six. The one facing over here. Okay, so that's the top one. Oh wait, so that means this is the one with seven. Oh wait, I, I did the wrong one. It's the one down here. There we go, okay. I don't know why I picked the, the other one. That was strange. Okay, so what's next? Looks like it's in here. And is this another shadow thing? Looks like it. Well, we powered something up. Looks like we have to power three things up in order to do something here. And we can go on the roof, too. Now, that's interesting. Can we see anything? Oh! One of these. Ah. So what can we see through there that we couldn't see before? Or is this just a hint that we're supposed to use this in this way? Wait a minute. So those branches look a little conspicuous. Let me go down there. Can I get down there? Those branches look like... I just came from the monastery, remember? Those look like something that you'd see over there. Can I get over to those branches? Come on. Oh, hey, there's a rail car here. Um, can we do this real quick? Let's see. So we need to include this here and this here. So we could do something like this and then that. There we go. Almost got hit on the door there. So let's do this. Wait a minute. Do this and then go around. There we are. All right, that was a fun little distraction. Let's see if we can get back up there. Come on, is there a way around here? Or wait, are we supposed to look through on this? There's a path there. There's definitely a way out. Oh wait, it's through here. Okay. 
This, yeah, this is definitely a mazy thing. So we got to figure out how to draw the path from here. But where is here? I feel like this vantage point does allow you for some some opportunity to use these branches as walls. Let me see what we can do with this. I feel like this is too close though. So let's not do it that way. Ah, there's got to be something to do with this. There has to be. I'm I'm sure of it. And I don't think what we were doing earlier was correct because that was very close. So if we go out here, maybe this is right? We gotta be able to see the end though. Come on, where do you get this? Wait, this looks very interesting. Oh wait, that's a starting point in the middle. I was looking at this as the starting point the whole time, but I forgot. You can start right there. Yeah, you can totally do that. So, if that's the case, and the branches are not the walls of the maze, they are the path. Which means we're supposed to exit on the top left. Okay. I see. So, it looks like... Yeah. So it looks like we go here, and then go around the, the hexagon, then go out, and then do that. But now we're going to have to remember that, presumably, because these branches are in the way. So let's just make sure we got the path. So we go here, we go there, we go out that way, we go two left, one up, two left, one down. Okay, got it. I think we can do this. Oh wait, it's just right here. That's right. It's not a long walk. Alright, so we go like that, go around, go this way, and this way. Yes! We got two. Okay, so now we just need one more, and I still think that that glary light thing has something to do with this, because it can't be a coincidence that we can, we can see this. There has to be some purpose to this. And I think... Isn't there like another start point? It's right here, right? Yeah. That start point has to be important. Okay, I'm seeing some paths drawn in there that are not part of the trees. And it looks like it ends on the bottom left, if I'm not mistaken. Question is, how do you start? Is it here? That's not a start point. Um, I'm going to assume, and maybe wrongly, but I'm going to assume that you have to start here and then just kind of go around. Wait, I forgot what to do here. Oh, you go down and make a V shape. That's right. And then after that, then you do that. Okay. I don't know if this is right or not, but let's find out. Yes! Oh, man. Wow, what a relief. Okay. Wait, did that power this up? I think it did. Okay, this looks like one of those sun panels, so... I'm going to assume that we need to look at this from another angle. Because this... that doesn't really tell us much. What's over here? It's... a dish. Oh hey, we can we can do stuff here. Oh, maybe we can use this to reflect the Oh, I get it. Okay, let's let's turn it around a little more. Let's go here. Is this right? The one right not that one. This one. Please hit the laser. Please hit the laser. Okay, there we go. Now direct the laser to the mountain.
Yes! All right. So that is now officially 10 lasers. Okay. Cool. All right, we are on a roll here. So let's continue going, see what we got over here. We have a flower. I like flowers. And it doesn't seem like a whole lot else. Okay, let's continue going over this way. What's this? Is this one of those mazes like we had in the castle? I think it is. Yeah, I think this is a mazy thing. Alright, so we gotta figure out where the panel for this is. Oh, here we go, right here. Hmm, maybe if we solve this, then that uh, staircase will come down. So, we're going to assume we're right here at the start. Which means that from this vantage point, we're actually going to be going left here. So, we're actually this is actually the, the direction that the maze is oriented. So, we go up 2, right 1, down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, left 1. Uh, I'm going to assume that this is crossable. So left two, up one, left one, up one, and then right all the way? Okay, that's, that's going to be an interesting one to trace out. So we start with up two, right, down, right, down, right. Up, right, up, left, left, up, left, right, Upright. Okay. I'm going to try to remember that. So, yeah. Let's try this out. Okay, I already forgot. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Up left. Okay, so we do, we do this. Okay. So then we go two left, up left, up right. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Try to make sure I remember this before I forget it. Go this way, 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 this way. No? That wasn't right? Aw. Wait a minute. Maybe this debris is supposed to be an area we can cross. Yeah, maybe we are supposed to go through there. Yeah, I think that's it. We are supposed to go through there instead of this. Because we're, we're not supposed to hit the green stuff. And we were hitting the green stuff. So let's try that without the green stuff. There. No? Okay, there's something wrong here. There's something very wrong. Let me just make sure. Hmm. Okay, let me just make sure here. So we go one, two... One. Okay, that's not right. So right down, right down, right up, right up, left, and then presumably up, right? Yeah, up. And then two left, up, three right. So what was the issue there? I don't see what the problem is. I hope I'm not orienting the maze the wrong way. That would be pretty bad. Okay, nothing here that would that looks out of place. This is all correct so far. Is this one up? I would assume it's one up, right? Is that a wire there? That looks like a wire. Okay. Somehow we're we're missing something crucial, and I'm really lost as to what it is. Is it just this? No. Yeah, we don't go another one. We just stay put. So, what is it that I'm just not seeing? Because we come around this. Whoops! I let go. We come around this way, like this, and then we go up, but it still doesn't work. I remember this puzzle because I solved this like really early in the game, because I did the castle area pretty early in the game. 
and I thought this was easy, so I'm not seeing what it is that I'm missing. Is there any other debris pile type things that maybe throwing the whole thing off? See, I'm, I'm assuming this is the right way, but maybe it isn't. But it feels just like this game to throw this in here. Like, oh, hey, you can't actually walk on the path that you're trying to get through. I'm just seeing if there's something else that's throwing the whole thing out of whack, maybe. But I'm not seeing whatever that would be if that were the case. Maybe this is supposed to connect like that. You know what, let's just give that a shot and see what happens. Maybe the whole thing is just a red herring. So if I go here... No. Man, I thought we were onto something there. I'm pretty sure we are supposed to stay away from green. Like, I'm almost certain that's the case. That... I'm pretty sure. I, I don't think there is a reason to, to think green is what you're supposed to be on. Is there any significance to how this stuff falls into place? Or maybe the way the green stuff's on the walls? Or hmm, Maybe we should just come back to this one later. See what else we got. Uh, I thought that was one of the easier ones, but evidently not. Okay, so we need something to power that up before we go inside, and it comes from in there. Okay, we got a... ooh, we got one of these. I'm assuming we need to look at that through a tinted... yes, this right here, I'm assuming. So we need to solve this first. So, this is an interesting puzzle. We've got fi five of these three block things, and then we've got six of these star things. So, I'm left to assume that we have to put the three block things either in conjunction with the star things which would make sense and then leave some of them out for something else let's let's puzzle this out let's let's figure this out so if we did this we could do this if we did this we could do this but we don't want three of them so is there a way that we can get two of them, and then this, and then this, there is. We can do something like this, like that. So that's one section. Oh, but now I'm blocking the way for other stuff. Oops. Okay, so we need to, we need to do something a little sneaky here. Okay. Wait, is this correct? This can't be correct, right? No, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, if that was the correct solution, that would be really hilarious, but it's not. Okay. So let's do this, 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 and then that. So that... One, two, three, four. So that's only four... That's four blocks versus three. Maybe something like this. So we're eliminating 11 of the 25, which means that there are 14, not 15, but 14. So I don't think that's going to be right. Yeah, we can't do that. So somehow, there's got to be a way to separate these six that then allow for the blocks to exist on their own. So, so that it has to total 15, right? Like there's no other way around that. So right now we've got 17, so that's too, too many. So maybe if we go do something like this, that is 13. Okay, that's 10, 6, wait a minute. No, that was right. That, that is 15. But there's a three tile uh, high thing there, so this is not going to work either. Okay, so it really just comes down to how are you going to place everything in all this. And it may not necessarily be a symmetrical solution either. That's what's really tricky. So maybe it's something like this. I can kind of see this being the case. Uh, let me just 
Yeah, I think this is it. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so now I can actually see this through the yellow lens. And it's looking like, yes, yeah, so there's white up there, black there, red there. Okay. Get to put our greenhouse skills to good use. Except that is not putting them to good use. That is... That is not correct. So how are we going to do that? I need to separate these from these, and then ultimately those. So we've got a little bit of an issue here, because I have to go here. But I'm also supposed to go here and here, right? So I don't think that's possible. So maybe that's not the right color. Is there anything in this area? Oh, I know what that is. I'm not doing that yet. So here's the sol or I can't really point it out with a mouse because it's going to force me to face that, but the dilemma here is that okay, this spot right here and these two things right here all have to be separated, but that's a T shape and I can't do it that way. So somehow there's got to be another way to look through this or or get the right color you need. Hmm. What is that? Oh, that's part of this area we can't get inside. Man, I really want to get in there. Wait, we can get in here. Huh. So this looks like one of those monastery puzzles. So maybe we need to open that to allow for some line of sight kind of thing. So that we can actually see what the solution to that is. That would make sense, right? Hey, there's a guy here going, ah! Hmm. Maybe, you know, I'm looking at this thing right here. This looks like a perfect setup for that puzzle. Okay, what are we not seeing with this? What are we missing? Somehow I'm missing something. And I don't know what it is. Uh this is bad. If there's like another way to, to put another type of lens there, that would be great, but I'm not seeing it. Hmm. There's also, ooh, what do we have here? Hey, this is like a sound thing. So do we just have to match these two? So high... Wait, let's do low, low high, medium, and then low, low, high, medium. Hey, there we go. Didn't even need the, the actual sound, although we're in a soundproof room, apparently. All right, so this came down. All right, I happen to know what this is, and it's nothing pleasant. Um, although... Oh wait, this is just to set the color. Yeah. This is a... Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. So this is a one of those puzzles where you have to solve... Or you can solve it optionally. It's I don't believe this is required. Which is good, because it's a very devious one. And I think we'll come back to that one later. But this one, this is what's really bothering me. What is the solution to this? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. These are stars. These are not squares. I am an idiot. Oh my goodness, okay. Alright, with that in mind, let's try this again. Alright, let's do these, because those are... Or actually, all of these will work. And then... These should be fine as well. Wait a minute. No, hang on a sec. So these are the two... These two are, are white ones. Or the, all six of these are white ones. So we have to figure out a way to separate. I think that's a good start. And then we can do something like this. Yeah, there we go. Got it. All right. That was a pain. But hopefully now we can use this, whatever this is here to get the right answer. 
Okay, how do you line this up? That's the question. That looks good. Let's try that. We'll go up here, do that. Oh, except that's blocked. Let's zoom out just a bit. Just a tad. And we'll do that, 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 that. Go over there. There we go. Alright, what did we accomplish with that? We went out that way. Did he go out to the tower area? It did. We can now go inside. Okay. And this is... What is this? Another door. Okay, so we need to do something else to open that one. So presumably the different areas of this, uh, this town will unlock different levels of the tower here. Alright, so we gotta, we gotta figure this, we gotta figure that giant maze out again. So I'm guess and that, because I'm guessing both of those are gonna be critical. Alright, ooh, what is this? We haven't seen this yet. Ah, we got some shapey puzzles here. Okay. So how do we do this one? So this has to be included in the formation. I suppose we could do something like that. There we go. Okay, so now we got to add another one to the mix. So how about we do something like this? Or no, that's not going to work, because then I'll trap myself there. Hmm, this one's a little tricky. How do you do this? Maybe... No, because that's just going to... No, that's not right. Hmm. So somehow, i got to hit all these dots, which kind of limits the way I wrap things around to create the shapes. Which is fascinating. I, I like this as an idea. It's very clever. Hmm. But somewhere along the way I'm missing... Wait a minute. No, that is doable. I can do that, and then just do that. There we go. And now I get another one. So can I just do something like this? Oh, wait, I have to encompass that. Oh, I see what you did there. Hmm. I don't think isolating one square is really going to help here. So, like, I can't do that. That's not going to... That's not going to cut it. So somehow, I have to get this... So maybe I can do something like this, where they're stacked like that? Is that even possible? The nice thing about this is that you can make the straight lines, so something where it's just like one large clump and there's stuff inside doesn't really do much to help you. That would be, well, that wouldn't exactly be fine, but... Mm. E I don't like this. This is... Kind of cramping my style here, guys. No, I can't do that. Is it possible to separate these? I'm doubting it. I gotta figure out a way to, to combine the T-shape the with these two. So all in all, it's six squares. Let's remember that, six squares. And the thing is, I, yeah, I could draw a box here, but that doesn't solve the problem of having to hit the ones inside. So that's an issue. And yeah, I could do that, but then I'd be orphaning that one. So that's also a problem. So if I left those two there... Eh, I don't think that's really going to work, right? No, wait, I can do this. There we go. All right, that wasn't so bad. Okay, so now i got two 
entire four block tetromino things. So is it possible to get these? Hmm. <laughs> so I could put one here, and I could put the other one here. And that's the, that's the problem with this, is that it does kind of feel like it's the outer edges that are the more important edges, and not so much the inner ones, because the inner ones, you have to connect everything. So that's that's kind of the dilemma you face. It's like, it is nice to do that, right? But... At the same time, you're also limiting yourself by doing that. So I could do this, and then I could do this. Yeah, I could do that. There you go. All right, so now we've got three tri or two triominoes. Hmm. No, I can't enclose it like that. I got to figure out a way. Maybe that? No. If I could enclose this, somehow get... Wait, no I can. I can do that. There we go. Alright. What did I open up? There's a door here, but it's not opening. Hmm. This is definitely quite the area to conquer. Ah, here we go. We got one of these things. So am I to assume, because this square is here, that this is the thing that we need to eliminate as far as the rules go? Yes! Alright, we opened up a door. But I think it's the next level up. It's not the one that we were at before. Hmm, so that doesn't seem to do anything either. Alright, so we got... How many doors... Oh wait, we got one up there opened up. Is that open? It looks open. Maybe it's always open. Because I'm not seeing, like, a metal thing that rises. So how many do we have left? We got one there. We have one there. So there are two left. Alright. I think if we were just simply to get this maze done and get that other thing done, hopefully that will do it. I'm still really confused about what the solution to this is, though. Part of me is still wondering if I'm somehow miss tracing everything, which is <laughs> making me a little nervous here. This, this is all clear. Wait a minute. What if this is the starting point and that's the end point? What if we've had it the wrong way? Oh. Oh, okay. Hang on. So, three right, one up. Two left, one up, one left, one... Okay, and this is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, let's flip the whole thing over. Man, I didn't even think of that. That was, that was clever. I bet this is the solution. I can almost guarantee you. Yes! Okay, so I had the maze wrong the whole time. Well done, whoever designed that. That was very clever. Ooh, and we got a swampy-type puzzle. It looks like we're actually ultimately controlling these planks here, so if I can just get... Let's see, there's three groups of three, right? So if I can just get this to go... Wait, that to go over there. And then... No, the other way. This way. There we go. So now we can extend that one all the way over. And this should allow us to get over to where this thing is. I'm not really seeing much in the way of... Oh, here we go. Ah. So where's the start point on that? Oh, there are three potential start points. Okay. So let me try doing this bottom path here. Oh, that's not right? Apparently that's not correct. That's interesting. Let me just make sure I didn't do something weird. No, no, no. Don't go there. Go this way. Come on. Back up. Back up. There we go. Huh. Apparently that's not correct. 
at all. Hmm. How many endpoints are there to that thing? It looks like they're all over the place. There's four there, another two there, another four there. So there are ten places to end. That kind of makes me a little nervous. Maybe what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to transition down to this one. You're supposed to start up there and then go here. Maybe this is how you do it, because we were only using half of it before. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's solve this. Okay, so we got some of our classic... Oh, we got ourselves a mirror thing happening here. Okay. There we go. These aren't so bad. I say that and they're probably about to get pretty bad. There we go. Then we got this one. So now the squares are less symmetrical now. Now we're just having to make absolutely certain. Wait a second. Let's do that. Ah! I didn't mean to let go. It doesn't really matter which area I start in, because this isn't one of those color-sensitive ones. Ooh, that's not going to work. How am I going to get these two black ones to... Eh, that's not going to work either. There we go. No? What did I do wrong there? Let me, let me map that out again. I feel like we were really close to an answer. I feel like that's right. What am I... Oh! There's a... Oh, there are markings on this. Okay, let me make sure we're, we're hitting all these. Okay, so I have to go across that thing. Ah! Okay, I did not see that. So let's redo the route. Hopefully this time with a little more markingness in mind. I think we'll go this way now. Oh, but now those two are included in the whole... Oof. That's messy. Mm. The problem is this one, that's the, the black one that's right next to me. That's what's throwing me off here. But maybe if I start here, is, will this work? No, because then that one over there... No, both of these actually are problematic. Hmm. So what if we do something like this? Uh, nope, that's not going to work. Man, what is going on with this puzzle? This is actually a tricky one. Hmm, and I have to go through here somehow. So if I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to have to go through here, right? So presumably, I'm going to come... If I'm going to go through here and here... And that has to mean that I have to go through here, or at least something really, like maybe here. So I'm probably going to come from this angle. So let's start from this, this spot. I feel like that's going to be the better solution here. Hmm. What am I just not seeing? This is bad news time here. Except maybe not. Maybe this is... Maybe somehow I can encompass both of these in the same general area. Like, I feel like we were onto something with this solution. Uh, not that far, but like this solution we had earlier. It's just that one little dot there that's in the way. Because we're creating these horizontal areas that we can, we can do that with, right? We can divide stuff with. Hmm. But that right there is the problem. Maybe if I do it like vertically, will that help? Will go in vertical help? Eh.
I don't know. This is actually a lot trickier than I was expecting. This is quite the puzzle here. Well done to whoever made this one. Hmm. I still feel like we need to somehow encompass this. You know, maybe that will help right there. Or maybe doing this can help. But then we're jeopardizing the dot thing. That's that's the problem with that solution. So we can't quite make that work. If I go up here... Hmm. The problem is that black one in the middle. This one here is an issue. But if I did that... But then I can't create something around that, so... That's also problematic. So I feel like we have to basically stick... I feel like the top area is the one that's going to be the most important. So I feel like I need to focus on it more. And not go all the way there with that. So let's... Let's stop there. And then... Let's go this way, right? Then we'll go this way. But now that one in the middle is still the problem. That one is still an issue. If I go all the way down there, that's also problematic. Maybe I just kind of have to approach it from a different angle. Maybe if I do something like this. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Something like this. Okay, maybe not quite like that, but something very similar. Something... Something like that, but not quite like that. I, I like where this is going, but we need to figure out a way to make that possible right there. So right now... Okay, if it weren't for, for this whole thing... This would totally work, but... Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, the mi the stuff there in the middle is still problematic. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry this is taking so long, too. This... I feel like this... I mean, this is like the most basic concept in the whole game, and they really managed to create a puzzle that's totally stumped us here. This is, uh, quite the pickle. Okay, so if I go here, and I do this, and then I do this. See, I feel like we have to cross over into the other side somehow. Like, vertically speaking. Not, not horizontally, but vertically. Okay, that's too much. Hmm... But the problem is, if I go up there, I'm basically jeopardizing my ability to cut this whole thing off. But wait a minute, what if the point wasn't to cut this whole thing off from, like, totally down here? Maybe we have to do something else, like go all the way down here, for example. I wonder if that's the solution. So, I think it's a good idea. We just have to refine it a little bit. It seems like everywhere you go, there's always a corner you take that's pretty much inhibiting your ability to do anything. And that is where things get really sticky for me. It's like... Okay, so right here... Well, we got several things that are making this solution unfeasible, but... Well, two, I guess. The one here in the middle, and then what we've got going on up here. So, I feel like I should just keep guessing until I get it right. Even though that's like a really horrible way to try to solve this. But at this point, I'm not really sure what else we can do except, wait, is that it? 
That is it. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. That took a while. Okay. Let's do this one. These are no cakewalk for sure. Okay. So if I can get this here, do that. Oh, but these two are now exposed. Ah. That's a problem. So this has to be... It's kind of like the reverse of last time. So... Wait, will the same solution work? It'd be really funny if that were the case. Oh my goodness, that actually worked. <laughs> awesome! Alright, so did that open both doors? Because if it did, we finally managed to crack... Pretty much almost everything in the town, except that puzzle in the color, like, color, uh, basically the greenhouse room, I'm going to call it that. So it's looking good there, looking good on that side, looking good on that side, and yeah, I think we're done. Wow, that was a nice capstone challenge. But what am I saying, this isn't really the capstone challenge, we still got a little bit more to go here. So... I am going to turn on this laser and then we're going to end the video here. And next time we are finally going to go up to the mountain. And see what wonders await us there. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves today. Kind of ran a little long, but that's alright. Always fun to run a little long. And next time we are going to go into the depths of the puzzle gauntlets in there. But until then, thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed yourselves today, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that little bell so you can get notified of the next episode. But, I'm just going to watch this laser now, and I will catch you on the flip side. So take care, and I will see you then. I'm going to just continue watching it. It's always something so satisfying about this. Yeah, check out all our lasers there.